As a LaSallean institution, Christian Brothers University is committed to the core principle of respect for all persons. As we return to campus this fall, we do so with caring hearts and respect for one another. Focused on protecting the health and safety of all members of our campus community and on minimizing the potential spread of disease on campus. In response to the current health crisis and in accord with public health guidance, all members of our CBU family will need to put community first as we pledge to each other to do our individual parts to keep each person healthy and safe. In that spirit, this video will introduce you our students, faculty, staff, and community to the CBU Compact. All members of our LaSallean community will be asked to sign the Compact and to adhere to the guidelines it outlines to protect all of us. The Compact is not intended to be a complete list of all rules, guidelines, and behaviors, nor does it take the place of the CBU policies found in the Compass Student Handbook, the Faculty or Employee Handbooks, or our Policy and Procedural Manuals. Likewise, the compact does not replace or supersede any ordinances, regulations, or guidance from local, state, and national public health officials. Instead, the compact establishes a set of norms that we will all follow out of respect for one another. As the public health crisis evolves, we will evolve too and provide updated guidelines should they become necessary. Any questions about specific policies should be directed to us via email at covid 19 Dash info at cbu.edu. All members of our CBU community will be required to practice physical distancing and to abide by face covering guidelines to demonstrate respect and consideration for each other. This includes wearing a face mask or facial covering in any public area, including classrooms and hallways, public spaces such as the Swashbuckler Lounge or Plow Library and dining facilities when you are not eating. All members of our CBU community are also required to follow posted guidelines for physical distancing in classrooms, residence halls, campus offices, and other CBU buildings and spaces. You will find posted guidelines throughout the campus, but in general, please adhere to the recommended six feet of distance between people at all times. CBU community members will participate in COVID-19 testing as requested and will undertake daily wellness checks as mandated by the university, either in person or through virtual means. We will agree to display the results of wellness checks if asked by a university official, just as we have been doing throughout the summer at the Central Avenue gate when entering the campus. Additional instructions on completing wellness checks online, on your phone, or on paper will be provided on the university website. If a CBU community member should test positive for COVID-19, they will immediately share truthful information with the Director of Health Services and the Director of Human Resources. They also will be expected to cooperate with Shelby County health officials to help us minimize the risk to others on campus. In addition, they will comply with all health and self-isolation guidelines of the university, Shelby County, and the state of Tennessee. All students must complete their emergency contact form and maintain updated information at all times. All employees are similarly required to maintain updated emergency contact information with human resources. If any community member discovers symptoms of COVID-19, they will remain off campus or will self-isolate in their campus housing and contact either health services, campus safety, or human resources to determine what, if any, diagnostic testing may be necessary. All community members will comply with the medical instructions they were given. CBU may require a community member to leave the campus at any time when that community member's continued presence poses a health or safety risk for others. This includes resident students who may be asked to leave campus housing for quarantine or self-isolation. Christian Brothers University will continue to implement and adhere to enhanced cleaning protocols to address COVID-19 and other public health emergencies in the interest of minimizing the spread of disease. As CBU community members, we will commit to each other to practicing good hygiene, including thorough and frequent hand washing and the use of hand sanitizer stations located throughout the campus. 
We also will do our part to keep our community clean by adhering to all policies established for the maintenance of our residence halls, classrooms, and campus public spaces. Information on cleaning and hygiene policies will be posted throughout the CBU campus. All CBU community members will agree to adhere to social distancing and the queuing system established in all dining facilities. We will work with our food service partner, Aramark, and follow all guidelines as outlined in the dining facilities. We will not move chairs or tables as they will be placed to accommodate and maintain safe social distancing. In addition, we will limit the time we remain in the Alfonso Dining Hall or the Buck Grill to allow everyone on campus the opportunity to dine during each service period. We also will agree to not enter any dining facility if experiencing any COVID-19 symptoms. Community connections are vital to us as LaSallians. However, at this time, we will agree to pursue virtual socializing as our first option for social contact. We will agree to avoid in-person gatherings, including social gatherings in residence halls and in-person student organization meetings or events. Unless in-person meetings are essential, we will use online options such as WebEx. Additional guidelines for virtual meetings and events will be provided for registered student organizations and CBU offices and departments. If in-person events or gatherings are allowed at a future time, we will follow all current posted guidelines provided by the university for both indoor and outdoor settings. In order to limit the potential spread of COVID-19, CBU residential students are strongly discouraged from leaving the campus to visit friends and family during this time period. Leaving the campus to visit family and friends increases the likelihood of exposure to infectious individuals and locations. All CBU community members are also strongly encouraged to reduce travel and to maintain a list of people and locations they visit each week should public health conditions warrant contact tracing. Members of our CBU residential community shall abide by the augmented new guidelines that have been put in place to protect the health and safety of all who reside, study, or work on campus. Anyone who is unable to comply with these guidelines may be subject to removal from campus housing in the interest of public health. Any violations of the CBU compact by student residents will be reviewed by the Vice President for Student Development and Campus Life or her designate. Residents will agree to remain in their own residential building without accessing other residential buildings or inviting guests into their residential room, apartment, or suite. After the move-in period, prohibited guests in residence halls include anyone assigned to another CBU residence, CBU students living off campus, or external guests such as friends or families until further notice. Any exceptions to the guest policy must be obtained in writing from the Vice President for Student Development and Campus Life or her designee. As a LaSallean community, it is up to each and every one of us to do our very best to mitigate the spread of COVID-19 while we are together. By modifying our daily behaviors, we can best prevent illness while we pursue our studies and our enjoy our time together here on campus. The CBU Compact will be posted to the university website at cbu.edu slash coronavirus. It also will be available in a variety of print and electronic formats for your use and reference. All community members will receive additional information about signing the compact as a symbol of our commitment to each other. The months ahead will require a renewed commitment on all of our parts to ensuring our collective and individual health and well-being. Our smiles may be hidden behind masks and our favorite campus events may be moved to online formats, but together and by association, we will do all that we can and must do to ensure not just a safe return to campus, but a fulfilling, enriching, and rewarding fall semester for all.